Most of you know that I, I live in Wellesley and I've been here for about 28 years. And uh, it's a special community, it's a special place. So this evening I changed my talk around a little bit and uh, really focused on some of the projects we've done here in this community and, and in Weston, the other community. And, uh, and I think there's some lessons that uh, I think you all, I think, would appreciate. It's really about trying to create an architectural language that is celebrated, celebrated by the overall community. And each neighborhood has its own character and scale. I, I don't have a problem with big houses. I just have a problem with houses not well designed. And you know, so many houses in our community are not designed by architects. In the United States, probably less than 2% of the houses built in, in the whole country are designed by architects. We noticed a consistent theme in that houses we were looking at in Wellesley um, that we really liked. We all started to follow the same theme, like another one, Patrick Ager, and like, who is this? <laughs> I've worked with Patrick for 20 years. So Wellesley, and then I started building in Chatham 10 years ago, and the two of us have put together quite a few projects in Chatham in the past 10 years. Before we start the architectural program, I write the narrative or a script like a novel or a movie of what the house could be. And that cues us into materials and finishes and character in a way that uh, helps the client get into the same story of what their house can be and we start to get on the same page. And his process, the whole like story he writes in his head, the narrative, mm -hmm. that, I like that. 